Xin chào. Welcome to Easy Viet with New Moon. To keep my promise with a friend from Bolivia, I'm coming back in front of the camera today to talk about Vietnamese traditional wedding. In this lesson, we will go through common expressions used in wedding occasion. I focus on the wedding procedure in order to help you understand more about Vietnamese culture. Also, at the end of the lesson, I'll show you some popular best wishes for couples in their wedding. Let's start. The first expression is Đám cưới Đám cưới it means wedding in English. In Vietnamese culture, wedding, not marriage license, is the term people officially recognize a couple as husband and wife. So, đám cưới is a very important event in the life of a person. Maybe it's why there are so many ceremonies in its procedure, but just leave the ceremonies aside. Let's continue with two main characters in a wedding, the bride and groom. The word for bride is Cô dâu. Cô dâu. And the word for groom is Chú rẻ. Chú rẻ. Imagine we were taking part in a play. There I were a go so if so you could be a who? You wouldn't want to be too rare if I were go so would you? Now we are going to talk about ao gui ao gui wedding dress in the past both go so and to rẻ were traditional outside, outside with khăn đống, khăn đống, which you want around the head. But nowadays, they can choose a wedding dress and a suit as wedding couples. Now you know about áo cưới in Vietnam. But please don't ask me about quần cưới. The second expression is lễ ăn hỏi. Lễ ăn hỏi. Lễ means ceremony. Ăn means to eat. While hỏi means to ask. So lễ ăn hỏi is... It's rather like the engagement in Western. Normally, a couple of months before wedding, the groom family would take a trip to the bride's home with some gifts. The gifts are to show appreciation from the groom's family as well as the binding of two families' wedding promise. At this time, the bride's family would confirm the wedding and further proceedings would take place. The next word we are going to learn is Chào cao Chào cao As I've just taught in Lễ An Hỏi The family of Chú Rẻ bring some present to the house of Cô Dâu But what are the presents and their meaning? Different reasons may have some differences, but generally the gifts consist of rượu, rượu, some bottles of wine, thuốc lá, thuốc lá, some packets of cigarettes, trà, trà, tea, bánh. Bánh, cakes, trái cây, trái cây, fruits, 
and the most important is trầu cao trầu cao trầu is better lived while cao is etiquette according to the frost trầu cao always come together and share a symbol of a long life and deep love the closeness and faithfulness of couples Vietnamese used to eat chow cao a lot. When they chew it, their lips turn red. Therefore, there's a nice frog first about chow cao. Có chow mà chẳng có cao. Làm sao cho đỏ môi nhau thì làm. It means like I have a bad leaf, but I don't have any etiquette. What should you do to make our lips red? Use lipsticks. The next expression is lễ cưới. Lễ cưới. Lễ cưới is the general word for a wedding ceremony. In Vietnamese culture, it can be divided into two different ceremonies: lễ phu quy and lễ thành. The first one is lễ phu quy. Lễ phu quy. Phu quy means to go to the husband's house. Lễ phu quy is the wedding ceremony celebrated in the bride's house. The other is lễ thành hôn. Lễ thành hôn Lễ thành hôn is organized later in the house of chú rể. Thành hôn means to marry or to get married to. So after this ceremony, the couple will officially become husband and wife with the witnesses from two sides of bride and groom. Please note that lễ phu quy can take place before or in the same day with lễ thành hôn but not after. The fifth phrase is lễ rước sâu. Lễ rước sâu. Rước means to pick up or to collect. Rước sâu means to meet and bring bride home. Lễ rước sâu is the ceremony between the two above is to take the bride to the groom's home. In this ceremony, we can see phù sâu, phù sâu, bridesmaid, and phù rẻ, phù rẻ, groom's man. The next word is tiệc cưới. Tiệc cưới. Tiệc is the word for party, while cưới is for wedding. Tiệc cưới means wedding party. Wedding parties are normally organized separately in the bride's and in the groom's side, but nowadays the two parties can be added up at one place. Move to the next one. Đêm tân hôn. Đêm tân hôn. Đêm means night. Tân means new or newly. Hôn in hôn nhân means marriage. Now you can guess the meaning of this phrase. Đêm tân hôn is the first night in marriage life of newlyweds. Now we are going to find out about a special ceremony that is lễ lại mặt. Lễ lại mặt. 
After two or four days from the wedding party, the new couple goes to visit the bride's family. This first visit is called Lễ Lại Mặt. Lại here means turn back or again. In this ceremony, the new couple often brings some offerings to thank the bride's family ancestors. By the way, I'll explain why they thank to the bride's family again and again. The reason is the thinking of enemies about the bride. After the wedding, the bride will become a daughter of the husband's family. She will spend almost all of her time and energy and effort to take care of the family of the husband while she is grown up and educated by her own family. That's why a tank is necessary. The next expression is Tuan Chang Mat. Nowadays, the one more phrase that closely connects to the wedding is Tuan Chang Mat. Tuan means week, Chang means moon, and Mat means honey. So, Tuan Chang Mat is Honeymoon. Tuan Chang Mat is mostly popular in city. In countryside, it's still our bridge to newly married couples. The last part of the lesson, verses in wedding. We are going to learn some expressions or verses for couples in their wedding. The most common is Chuk Mung. Chúc mừng, congratulations, or chúc mừng cô dâu và chú rể. Chúc mừng cô dâu và chú rể. Here's to the bride and groom. You can also say chúc mừng hạnh phúc. Chúc mừng hạnh phúc. Happy wedding. Another popular wish for couple is Cham Nam Hạnh Phúc Cham Nam Hạnh Phúc Happy together for a hundred years The last common wish I introduce today is Sớm Sang Quý Tử Sớm Sang Quý Tử Sớm means soon. Sang or sing in northern dialect means to give birth. Quý means valuable or good. Tử means a child or children. So, sớm sang quý tử means have good children soon. Before ending this lesson, I'd like to random check some phrases. If you can remember, please leave a comment to answer me. Question 1. Is Cô dâu the bride or groom? Question 2. What's the difference between lễ phu quy and lễ Thành hôn. Hope you enjoy my video. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại. Goodbye and see you later.